We'll let you watch liftoff of Ariane space flight number 220. Final. final countdown. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, top. Allumage Vulcan. Allumage UAP, décollage. Tous les paramètres à bord sont normaux. We're underway. The booster's providing over 90, 90% of the thrust right now, propelling the launcher along its trajectory at an ever-increasing velocity, getting her away from the pull of the Earth. She's burning now five tons of fuel per second. That's right, per second, 2.5 tons in each booster, and the core stage burning another 300 kilos per second. Right now, we're in the first flight phase, the main, ange, the main stage engine and the two boosters burning. The boosters will burn their propellant in just under two and a half minutes. You can see the booster separation right on time. Next up is fairing separation. There it is. Separation given by two pyrotechnic systems. There's an onboard camera, we'll show you how that is. It's, uh, you see one of the halves blown away on the one side, the other at a camera range. We can separate the fairing now because we're out of the dense layers of the atmosphere. We're in the second powered flight phase. The boosters have done their job. Only the single engine burning now. It'll burn for about nine minutes in all. Speed is important right now, and that's the role of the main stage. Its cryogenic propellant system is not only highly efficient, but provides a push that can last a long time, because the first stage has to burn for nine minutes in all. All continues to function perfectly on board Ariane, as you can see on the screen. We've just had get the cutoff of the uh, lower stage, and you see its separation, and there's the ignition of the upper stage. Everything right on time. These three commands given by the onboard computer in about 12 seconds. The main stage falls back into the Atlantic off the coast of Africa. Up in space, all is well on board Ariane. Our speed coming up to seven kilometers per second. We're now in the third and final powered flight phase. 16 minute burn for the upper stage. It'll burn until 24 minutes and 49 seconds. Cutoff of the upper stage engine right on time. We are now sailing without power. So we're in the final flight phase and we're coasting. The upper composite is now beginning a series of maneuvers to reach the different positions from where it can release the satellites. There we are. The DDO has just called out the first good news, successful delivery of our upper passenger. What's left now is the white band down there. That's the vehicle equipment bay. On top of that is the silda. That's the black bit. And we're going to release that in just a moment. There it is. You see the black structure pushed away. And the DDO confirming it. It's pushed away from the mothership by the series of springs. The same system as for the satellites. You see our set one now exposed to the elements until their separation has been confirmed and we're awaiting the DDO's confirmation du satellite Arsat 1. And there you have it. The smiles all around. The final good news, Ariane 5 has successfully separated her second passenger, our set one, and right on target, 2,268 kilometers up.